Genesis 6, the flood. When men began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is mortal. His days will be a hundred and twenty years. Ne the Nephilim were on the end of the earth in those days. And also afterwards, when the sons of God went to the daughters of men and had children by them, they were heroes of old, men of renown. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, and that every indication of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I've created from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. This is the account of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. He walked with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt, and God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on the earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, Make rooms on it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, 45 feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the ark within 18 inches of the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. I'm going to bring floodwaters on earth to destroy all the life under heavens, every creature that has breathed life in it. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife, and your sons' wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, every kind of animal, every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you and be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it as food for you and for them. Noah did everything just as God commanded.